Hello everybody, so today I am unboxing Kingdom, their third mini album, History of Kingdom, part three, Ivan. Very excited, this is the Chaos version. Um, a little backstory on Kingdom, for anyone who doesn't know, each member is based off of a real king throughout history, and they each have their own album and era per member. So this is the third member out of seven. Um, yes, so Ivan is actually based off of the Russian king, also known as Ivan the Terrible. There are two Russian kings that go by Ivan. There's Ivan the Great and also Ivan the Terrible. So everyone's a bit like, who's he going to be based off? Which one? And it turns out he is based off of Ivan the Terrible. So this whole album will have sort of a Russian theme to it, as far as I know. Um, the MV was sort of Russian. There were some Russian symbolic symbols in there. It was very nice. Um, one thing I like about Kingdom's Company is that they seem to be really good at cultural appropriation. Um, cultural appreciation even, not cultural appropriation. There we go. They seem to be really good at like appreciating the cultures and the histories of this. It seems like they're really doing their work. They're not culturally appropriating anything. There's not been any complaints. There's been nothing. There was only one small complaint regarding the font that they used for this album because they used Russian sort of alphabetical lettering mixed with English lettering and it really made it difficult to read some of the stuff in English and it also was really impossible to read for Russians as well. They said it was just more gibberish and so neither non-Russian people, non-English speaking people, neither sort of could read them. So that was the only complaint people had. It wasn't really so much about it being in Russian. It was just so much the fact that it just didn't make sense because you mix Russian and English together. Um, but yeah, a little backstory of the members. Um, so you've got Arthur, who was part one. He is based off of King Arthur, Sword in the Stone, Knights of the Round Table. His album was very medieval based. Then you had part two, which was Tiwu, and Tiwu was based off of the Chinese emperor, emperor the China, and it was based on the Chinese empire, and his had more of a oriental, traditional Asian vibe to it. They were wearing, they weren't hanboks, because that's Korean, they were wearing like a traditional Asian clothing, I can't think for the life of me what it's called to be honest, but it was more styled towards Chinese styling, but it was very pretty. But yeah, this is... Ivan's. So let's take a look. Here's the front. It's very pretty. I love the fact that it's purple. I love sort of the design. It's very gorgeous. I am no expert on Russia, so I don't know if this has anything to do with Russia, the symbols. I'm not a million percent sure, but there is some of like the lettering. Here is the back. So you'll see about the track listing if I can get it to show. They use a mixture of Russian and English letters and it's just, the track listing is quite impossible to read to be honest, like that's the title track, Black Crown, Burn, uh, Fallen Star, I have no idea what any of them really say. So yeah, here's the side as well. So yeah. One thing I also like about all their albums is so far each album has been styled and packaged differently which I think is quite a nice sort of vibe. Very pretty. I'm going to remove my items. Okay. So yes, here is the fur coat version. I think it was superior. thought it was absolutely beautiful. And Ivan looking fantastic. There was sort of the argument that the fur coat version is meant to represent Ivan the Terrible. And then they had these white outfits for the other version that were also in the music video. They had sort of a fight scene against themselves. And it was sort of figured that, that might be Ivan the Great. Then the kings sort of fighting against each other, even though in history they came one after another. But I think it was meant to be some type of symbolicness with that. But yeah, it's very pretty. I just love how Ivan looks in this um, era, in, in this concept especially. They look very, very good. I don't know if the fur coats and everything to do with the snow also has something to do with Russia in terms of like, I believe the more up north to Russia you go, the colder and snowier it is. So 
like I say, no expert on Russia, but I feel like there's little subtle things that sort of link it, which is quite nice. This concept is absolutely gorgeous. So the fur coat and just the whole fur concept is beautiful. And the crowns are really gorgeous as well. I think Arthur looked amazing. I think this era though, Arthur really came for every member, every person in the fandom. He really said, you're biasing me or I'm bias wrecking you. He really did. Tiwoo is my bias, so. He looks so pretty. This is actually my wallpaper on my phone at the moment. Really pretty. I love it. I really love it. I also like how Ivan's in like pure white and these all seem to be in like sort of darker colours. And also Mujin's um, lipstick be looking gorgeous there. This is the second concept, the just sort of royal concept. And this concept is in both versions of the album. This is actually my least favourite concept out of all three. I don't be liking it too much. However, it's still sort of pretty. I believe that I read somewhere that this red sort of sash is Russian, traditional Russian clothing. So I'm not 100% sure of that, but I did read something like that. You can see the lettering down here too. Okay, and then this they tease at the end of each um, era who is coming next. So next is Dan, and he is actually the prince or the king um, of Korea, so the Korean Empire, and he's a Korean emperor. So sort of how Tiwoo was the Chinese Empire, the next one is going to be the Korean Empire, and I'm pretty sure this is sort of like the Josephine sort of era, sort of traditional, so I'm very excited for the next era. We don't know when that's going to come out. I think they seem to be doing like three months between each comeback. So I'm thinking possibly around January. There's the CD. I think around January it might come out just because they've got to film and have all of it, do the recordings. You've got Christmas coming up. So I think it might be in the new year. But that was gorgeous. I love it. So you do get like this, which is meant to be sort of a dice. And then my cards, I'm nervous. I'm really hoping I don't get Tiwoo because I collect Tiwoo's album cards and I've actually already brought him, so pray for me. You do get like a little character card and oh, it's Jahan. I'm very happy. I've never pulled Jahan. Really pretty. And then my photo card is also Jahan. Oh, nice. Nice, he's in the blue outfit, I like that. Very pretty. Yeah, I'm really happy with that, I think it's gorgeous. Hopefully I explained their concept well. Um, if anyone's actually interested in their concept more, you can just Google it, it's very easy to sort of read up on what their whole concept is. It's actually been leaked that they've got a 12 year contract instead of a seven year one. They apparently have a 12 year contract and they have 35 albums planned throughout the next 12 years with additional ones in preparation. So I don't know, they're gonna be sticking to like the King theme. I don't know what you can do after each member, if had their albums, maybe like unit albums. I have no idea what they're doing with the storyline, but yeah, we will see. It's all very exciting. I'm very, very excited for this. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this. Bye.